Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Going at you on the Tuesday, August 11th, heading into um, the important period for the fourth quarter here. I would say the 15th of August, things usually start start to kick off. So 12th, 13th, 14th, Friday will be the 14th. Um, so let's just say Friday. Is, we're looking forward to Friday as an interesting day. But we're prepared for interesting um, going forward from from right now, so we're we're kind of keeping one eye open during this sleepy period, uh, waiting for uh, price to tell us uh, something interesting is happening. Let's take a look here. Gold. We'll start with. We talked about it yesterday. Um, looked offered, traded offered. Um, didn't really get too, too much joy last night. I mean, we did trade down to 28, um, but then back up to 33. Now we're here at 16. This should head for the figure. Um, be real, real careful buying dips here. The market's very, very long. This is going to get twitchy. Um, I have a feeling this is going to go down to sort of 1750, um, which is down here. Or sort of 1850, sorry, 1850, which is down here. So that's another 150 bucks. So uh, be careful with gold here. Um, this is not the time to buy dips. You really want to see how the market reacts to left hand side price action because they're all long, right? And a lot of them are long uh, at the wrong levels. So let's see what happens with that. Euro not doing too, too much. Are we going to take a peak below 1696? Sure looks like it, uh, but we may not. We're right in the middle here, so there's not much to do. It's a lot of guesswork. Um, Got to see how the price goes. We do have US PPI today. Um, Euro looks a little bit offered, but nothing convincing. But because gold is going down, you could argue that Euro is probably going to ease down a little bit. Cable, middle of nowhere. We do love this cable, uh, 130, 185 now, which sort of blends itself into this 132 level. Um, there'll be some fireworks up there, so we're looking forward to that uh, whenever it decides to go back up there. But at 130.80, you do nothing. Dollar yen, the big level is 106.60. Nothing to do here at 106. We do have PPI today. Can't remember the last time PPI moved anything. Um, but we're going to get to some interesting PPI ideas in a sec. Dollars are reload time. You kind of want to wait till 55 at the minimum because your stop has to be below 15. Super tricky if you don't already own this. Uh, you don't want to be buying at the top of the range now. So careful with dollars are. You're better off buying through the highs than you are buying at the sort of 80% of this move. So if just off the top of my head, if this move is 130 handles, um, so 26 off 130, so yeah, the 80% point of this, which is not really interesting or any kind of Fibonacci, um, is going to be around 42. So anywhere between 40 and 70, you're you're buying this at the top of the range. Be careful. Uh, we do like dollar rand higher. Um, going forward, but if you're initiating, be careful. This uh, surprised me, Aussie, I guess, because we're risk on a bit. Um, traded all the way up to 86, which was weird. I guess it's purely risk on. Uh, we like this lower. 40 now is an interesting point. Coincides with this bearish engulfer. We got a little false dawn. Um, yesterday, but second time through false dawns, uh, normally you get a good sunrise. Your Aussie lower stocks are higher. Aussie yen also false, false yesterday. We did get those stops through 70, but that was the very end of it. I should have known because it was fixed time as well. Um, you don't really get any good meaty moves during the fix. It's all bullshit. Uh, 
Euro Sterling. Not really sure what to do with that. Kiwi N, same as Aussie N. Nothing to do there. Let's look at yes. Dribbling higher. 33.97. Now within sight. All time highs. 30 handles away. Um, don't understand this. Be real careful with this if you're long. Um, tried to turn yesterday. I had that move down to uh, 27. This is the daily. Let's go to the hours. You had to, you had to move down here. It looked pretty powerful, but then bang, zzz, right back up. See this a lot. Um, interesting, interesting. Uh, All-time highs look likely. We are not long. Just watching this, uh, waiting for confirmation of a turn. Now we have sort of a little platform here at, at 32.20. Um, but I don't see anything to do up here at 33.67. Uh, maybe stretch sell 8797 uh, for the first touch back at the all-time highs what we find more interesting perhaps is bonds here um, kind of rolling over the stocks keep going and there's a vaccine this is your trade short tens um, not really doing too much to be fair 33927 the volume this is abysmal uh, so I just have to chuckle. This will loosen up uh, when there's the signs of inflation or when there's a strong sign that the balance sheet work is going to be reduced. So keep an eye on this. Uh, let's have a look at our little BTP. Same shit. Just no vol. I mean, look at these bars. Just unbelievable. Uh, we're short up here, right at right at 148. So we'll see. We talked about it yesterday on on Twitter. A uh, lot of talk yesterday on Twitter about uh, this and that and Euro and parity and Italy blowing up. And I mean, that's all good, well and good. It's good to like exercise your mind with a little global macro banter and whatnot. But. Uh, Price is your god in this business, right? Price is your god. The ideas we use to just frame ourselves around watching for a certain pattern of price, and then when price confirms, and only when price confirms, do we plunge. So be careful. None of this makes any sense, and if you're trying to make sense of this, you're way, way, way underwater. Uh, all of this, you're way underwater. None of this, none of the entire financial system makes sense right now. So if you use the global macro uh, textbook, if you're trading price, uh, kind of makes sense, right? Stocks have been trading bid. Uh, and if you've been stubbornly short, like we have for occasions, uh, you're screwed. Uh, Euro has been bid. If you've been stubbornly short for occasions because you think, you know, there's not going to be debt mutualization and Italy's going to blow up and all of the amazing reasons that Euro's going to go to parity. You're screwed. Watch price. I'm talking to myself here as well as I'm talking to you. Because um, price is going to be very, very important in the next uh, seven days. So keep an eye on it. Keep a close eye on it. We use these candlesticks to help us frame price. Um... This teaches us about price. We we recognize price patterns through candlesticks. You can watch price any way you want, uh, but just watch price. Otherwise, it looks like it's going to be a very quiet uh, European morning. Like I said, PPI today. Back historically, this would be something that moves bonds. This hasn't done that in forever, um, but... I guess for old time's sake, we'll watch to see if bonds move on PPI today. Otherwise, Kiwi rates tonight late, uh, 10 p.m. So keep an eye on that for Kiwi rates. Listen, good luck out there today, people. Uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.